Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Acacia. Medicube sent over two of their scalp and hair products for me to try. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that experience. I just took out the braids in my hair, so this was perfect to see how my hair was gonna to react to it. I did use it once before while my hair was still in the braids, but this is the first time I've used it without the braids. Now, these products are supposed to have their Soy Act Solution, which is a two-in-one soy Dill treatment. I hope I pronounced it properly. It's hypoallergenic treatment that helps moisturize and nourish the hair and scalp. So they come with both the shampoo and this scalp conditioner type of treatment. So that's what I use this time. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and on the channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in it, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, Let's get started. As I mentioned, my hair was in braids at this point, so I took them out by using the Salon Selective's Instant Repair Leave-In Conditioner. And I put this kind of all over my hair, I sprayed it with water, and put this in to kind of detangle it. I also used some Indian Hair Secrets Oil. This is Amla Oil that I have with some fenugreek as like an Ayurvedic blend. And this is what I put on my hair as well to go ahead and coat it before washing my hair. So after taking out my braids and detangling, my hair was sectioned in twists, and it was perfect to go ahead and get started in the shower. Here we're going in with the Soy Sedil Shampoo. And let me tell you, this definitely goes a very long way. That's one of the things I'm really impressed about with Medicude's products. Like they have very simple products. They target what they're supposed to target and you don't have to use a lot of them. What I am really happy about is how big this bottle is and how refreshing it feels on your scalp. As I was massaging this into my scalp, you can see it sets up so easily. My hair did not feel stripped. It did not feel dry. It did not feel tingly either. It was just a very nice, clean feeling. And when I was done, I was so surprised at how easily it rinsed out of my hair. You can see my face in this clip and I'm just like, wow. Cause remember I did use it with braids in, but I never used it with my actual hair and it felt amazing. My hair has been doing really well recently because I've truly been treating it and trying to make it grow healthy and strong. So I did trim it the last time. And so my hair was just soaking up all of this hydration. I said before that after I cut my hair, it was like super dry on the ends. So I was really looking forward to seeing what these products would do in terms of moisture. And this shampoo definitely takes the cake. Next up, we have the two-in-one treatment. Now this, I was a little bit confused at. I was like, is this a conditioner or is it just a scalp treatment? I would say it's kind of both in a sense, just because of the way that it applies. So I put this in and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in the palm of my hands as well. It is a true liquid. It's a liquid formula. And once it touches water, it emulsifies and it thickens a little bit. Now, when I use this with the braids in, I definitely use way too much because I did didn't think it was going to thicken the way it did so it, yeah we, we, we went through a lot of this product but when my hair was not in the braids this time around it just glided through my hair so easily I honestly think that you could detangle with this if you wanted to but I digress I didn't do that I think the way that I like using this the most would just be sectioning my hair in two and then just putting it through the hair and gliding it through. I think when you break it up into more sections, you're just using too much product. So just a little tip, 
do it that way. Put it in your scalp and then glide it through the hair. And honestly, I use this just as a conditioner and it left my hair super, super soft. As you can see here, my ringlets look super gorgeous and super juicy. I was really surprised at how well it conditioned my hair because usually I need a lot of product and I need a lot of slip, but for some reason, this liquid really did it. <laughs> When I was in braids, actually, I did use the shampoo with a dropper bottle. So I put a little shampoo in it, put a little warm water in it so it can easily disperse. But yeah, I really love both of these products for that reason. And that was the only time I washed my hair when I was in braids because I wash it once a month when it's in protective styles. It really did help to make sure that my scalp was clean, that my hair was still moisturized. And even after taking out the braids, my hair did not feel dry or stripped or anything. It felt fine. And I'm, 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 pretty impressed. After taking out my braids, I always love using both a protein treatment and a moisture treatment. So the one that I use this time around, Way Thick Hair uh, Treatment Mask. I really did like the way that it rinsed off of my hair, the way it made my hair feel. It's not my favorite mask. It is quite expensive, but it's not my favorite mask simply because I don't know for some reason it doesn't leave my hair as moisturized as i would have liked as moisturized as other masks that i've used in the past have left my hair so at this point i'm just kind of using it until it's done um just to be done with it i'm very i'm actually quite disappointed in this hair mask unfortunately but i love the packaging so maybe i'll be reusing the bottle when i was using this in my hair i did put on that little blow dryer attachment so i could deep condition my hair thoroughly i did that for 30 minutes, really probably half an hour because I was watching Boruto, so I just kind of kept going. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I rinsed it off afterwards. And then the leave-in conditioner that I put in my hair was the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. A little bit with this goes a very long way because I did not want to weigh my hair down. I knew that I was going to be blow drying my hair, so I didn't want to use anything too thick at this point. <laughs> After that, the rest of the hair products that I use was the Tresemme Thermal Creations Blow Dry Spray, as well is the TGIN Sweet Honey Milk. I put both of these in just to make sure that my hair was still moisturized before blow drying and it really did help. My hair blow dried very quickly. I think it has a lot to do with the brush that I'm using. So when I blow dry my hair, I use the tension method. So I'll comb out my hair, I'll hold it or stretch it and then use the blow dryer. And then once it's like sort of dry, not really shrinking as much, I'll use this little brush right here. This is the Verb Blow Dry Brush and I love how it has these tiny little bristles attached to it. So definitely don't use this when your hair is super curly, but when it's stretched, you can go ahead and put it at the base of the hair and take the blow dryer. Because it doesn't really have a form, like a form, uh, straight back or anything like it lets a lot of air in it definitely lets your hair blow dry super quickly it does not take a long time if you are looking for a blow dry blush if you are looking for a blow dry blush if you are looking for a blow dry brush <laughs> oh God, then this would be one that i truly recommend once my hair was blow dried, I went in with my trusty dandy hair balm. This is the one that I whipped together with shea butter and a couple of other hair oils. After my hair is already blow dried, I put a little bit of this in my fingers so it melts into a nice oil and then put it on the hair. And it leaves my hair so shiny and so moisturized, especially for the winter. Now these products are not the best smelling in the world. I think all of their products kind of smell the same. It's kind of that medicated scent, which I don't really mind. You guys know I'm not a big fan of fragrance. As long as it doesn't have like a really strong factory scent, then I'm just fine. But a medicinal scent, a medicated scent is totally fine for me. I like that there barely is a scent with this product. Honestly, I feel like your shampoo and conditioner are really your base when it comes to your hair. It sets you up for either success or failure. And I really do enjoy how these Medicube products really just helped my wash day. It made it so quick and easy, and it also left my hair super moisturized and ready for the other products too. Overall, I really do enjoy these products. I definitely would be using them again. So I want to say a big thank you for Medicube to sending them to me. I worked with this brand in the past, and I've truly loved a lot of their acne products. I've never tried their hair care lines before, but now I definitely have. And it comes 
comes with a glowing recommendation for me. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried any of Metacube's hair products or any other products from their line. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you, lovely ladies and gents, in my next one. Bye.